So this is going to be a quick video on tools. Um, same toolkit that you use basically in intro to ceramics and hand building, but different uses. So first of all, <clears throat> the sponge is going to be your best friend. The sponge is crucial. I cannot say how important a sponge is in throwing. Um, it's the second most important thing to water itself. And the reason why it's so important is it helps you control your water, get it on the piece, get it off the piece, smooth out the piece. It'll also help you shape the piece. It can help you pull walls. It can do all kinds of magical things. And then we have our ribs. We've got our stiff rib and our metal rib. Both of these will help you shape your piece in different ways. And this one's nice and flexible, so it can help you contour the side of your piece. And I will show you and demo how to do that later. Then you got your modeling tool. Um, not quite as useful as it is in hand building, but it will help you trim the bottom of the piece off and really get that off and scrape the skirt off, which is important. Uh, the ribbon tool we're not going to be using until we go to trim the base of the piece to make a foot ring. So during the actual throwing process, when you begin, you won't be using this guy very much, but it will be useful later. Then, of course, we have our pin tool. Not as useful as it was in hand building, but still really important if your piece is kind of wobbly on the top or if you've got a piece or a rip in it, you can use the piece to carefully trim into the side and cut the rim off, which is actually really important. Then, of course, we have our wire tool. Now, before, you only use this to cut clay off the block, but this time you're going to use it to actually detach your piece from the wheel. And that's basically how your tools are going to work.